with the Pledge of Allegiance led by Commissioner Brooks. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> all right. Um, we will begin this morning with the engineer. Um, Commissioner Brown uh, is not here today, but she expects to be back next week. She's uh, been out with some medical issues and texted me this morning and wanted me to let everybody know that she will be back. She expects to be back next Tuesday. Great. So. so glad to hear that. Good morning. Good morning. Mr. Engineer, how are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, Dean Ringo, Franklin County Engineer. Cornell Robertson, Chief Deputy Engineer. Resolution number 730-15, authorizing the Franklin County Engineer to enter into a contract modification with Strausser Paver Company, Incorporated for the Chattanooga Road at Fountain Road and Raynard Road improvement projects and increase of $13,764.15 in the amount of $766,238. Commissioners, this is a project we've been working on in the southeast part of the county and uh, during construction, there is a uh, water line by Aqua America that um, the company wanted to have lowered, so they are actually paying for this contract modification. Well, that's good. I'll be happy to move for passage of Resolution 730-15. Second. Moved and second voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 730-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 731-15. Carpenter Marty Transportation Incorporated and consulting engineers appointed to assist the Franklin County, County engineer in performing preliminary engineering for the Morris Road at Kitts Miller Road improvement project in the amount of $90,281. Commissioners, this is a proposed uh, intersection improvement that we're looking to perform and we've gone through the consultant based selection process and uh, selected Carpenter Marty to help us in that endeavor. Move for passage of Resolution 731-15. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 731-15 has been adopted. All right. The next issue we have to have a public hearing for, but then we also have to remove it from the table as it was brought forth back at the end of August, Correct. and we've had it tabled since. So uh, if you want to go ahead and Which start the public here? hearing. Okay. What? Do you public hearing remove? for establishing altering and widening uh, Sunbury Road at Agler Road. Okay, public hearing for established altering and widening of Sunbury and Agler Road. I'm going to open the floor. Is there anyone here? Uh, Dean, do you want to go ahead and brief first and then uh, if anybody yeah, here wants uh, to basically this is a uh, uh, working on a traffic signal improvement and so we needed uh, as we're looking at locations for the poles to be able to uh, fit them on the existing right-of-way or acquire some additional right-of-way for the signal. <clears throat> okay, uh, not a, I'll ask the question of you later, it's not that important. Uh, is there anyone else here who would like to discuss uh, the issue? If not, then we'll go ahead and close the public hearing and if you could read the resolution. Resolution number 622-15, final hearing for establishing, altering, and widening of Sunbury Road in Agla Road, City of Columbus, Mifflin Township, Franklin County, Ohio. So, mm -hmm. I do need to ask, do we need to I'll move, from the table. I'll, I'll yeah. move to bring 622.15 from the table and bring it before us. Second. Moved and second voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 622-15 has been removed from the table. And commissioners, um, I had asked for it to be tabled uh, back at the previous meeting um, because we were still working on the right-of-way design to, to see what we needed. So we had that completed and are able to bring it back to you today. Great. Move for passage of resolution 622-15. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 622-15 has been adopted. <coughs> resolution number 732-15. Plans approved for rehabilitation of the structure on Kuntz Road over Hell Branch Road Run, primary, prim, I'm sorry, <laughs> Prairie Township, Franklin County, Ohio. Commissioners, this is a structure that has been scheduled for um, uh, rehabilitation and so we have completed the design for that and have the plans prepared for you this will be under uh, probably bid this year but under uh, next year's construction projects okay. move for passage of resolution 732-15 second move to second voting commissioner brooks aye commissioner grady aye resolution number 732-15 has been adopted 
Resolution number 763-15, preliminary allocations and final encumbrance of county motor vehicle license tax $5 funds for the City of Columbus in the amount of $2,200,000. Commissioners, this is a $5 fund resolution with the City of Columbus to improve various traffic signals on city roadways. Okay, move for passage of resolution 673-15. Second. Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 763-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 764-15, preliminary allocation and final encumbrance of County Motor Vehicle License Tax $5 funds for the City of Columbus in the amount of $800,000. Commissioners, this is a similar $5 fund resolution with City of Columbus. However, this resolution is for signage and pavement markings. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. It's a similar $5 no fund there. resolution me. with uh, City of Columbus, mm -hmm. five, $5 funds. It's similar to the previous resolution. However, this one is for signage and pavement markings along various city roadways. Okay, very good. Move for passage of 764.15. Second. Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 764-15 has been adopted. Um, now another public hearing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Public hearing for petition to vacate a portion of unimproved portion of Wood Street. You can open the floor for that. Dean, do you want to go ahead and brief us? Yeah, this is um, a, a street that is unimproved, and the, the property owner surrounding the uh, uh, unimproved street has requested uh, vacation. Okay. It's in Hamilton Township. Where where exactly? Somewhere. It's uh, it's in the village of Reese north of Rathnell Road and west of Obetz Reese Road. Any opposition to the vacation at all? No, ma'am. Nope. From what you've heard, okay. Right. Is there anyone else in the room that would like to discuss uh, this vacation? If not, we'll close the public hearing. Okay, resolution number 733-15, prayer of petition to vacate a portion of unimproved portions of Wood Street located in Hamill Township, Franklin County, Ohio, granted. Okay, move for passage of resolution number 733-15. Second. Moved and second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 733-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 734-15, petition filed for vacation of unimproved 17 feet wide alley, Sharon Township, Franklin County, Ohio. This resolution is the first of three resolutions for a petition that has been filed requesting vacation of an unimproved portion of alley off of Kanawha Avenue in the northwest part of the county in Sharon Township and just east of Olentangy River. The vacation was requested by the adjacent property owner and is supported by Sharon Township. The viewing has been set for Tuesday, November 10th at 11 a.m. and the final hearing has been set for Tuesday, December 1st at 9 a.m. Okay and we're invited to those viewings, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yep. thank you. Move for passage of resolution 734-15. Second. Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 734-15 has been adopted. Great, thank you very thank much. Thank you all very much. The county auditor. Resolution number 765-15, approving third contract extensions for mediation services in the amount of $360,000. Good morning, commissioners. Larry McQueen here from the Franklin County Auditor's Office. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Um, we're at the same rates as last time. Uh, these are non-general funds uh, from the REA fund and the contracts for 2016. Very good. Move for passage of resolution 765-15. Second. Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 765-15 has been adopted. Thank you very Thank you. much. To Job and Family Services now. Good morning, Lance. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. This resolution was uh, tabled on October 13th, 2015. Resolution number 746-15. Okay, do you want to read it? Yeah, go ahead and read it okay. then. Resolution number 746-15, tabled on October 13, 2015, authorizing a lease agreement for job and family services 
West Opportunity Center in the amount of $2,139,750. If Lance, if you want to go ahead and brief it, and then we'll bring it, consider bring it back from the table and consider. Okay. Um, an RFP to provide lease space was advertised and shared with 110 different companies to house the West Opportunity Center. Uh, we had one bid that we received from FB Columbus LLC, which is our current landlord. The lease agreement is for a four-year initial period with an option to extend for two additional three-year periods. Uh, the contract maintains the current annual lease rate of $15 per square foot, and we have just over 47,500 square feet out there. Uh, pending any questions, I'd ask for the proof of this resolution. Is there anybody here from uh, the landlord today? I don't believe so. Anybody here from Pizzuti? Uh, no, ma'am. They uh, gave some comments on it. No? Okay. All right. Just checking. Um. I'm going to get a motion to bring it back from the table. All right, then uh, we will uh, consider this at a later time. Uh, Chris, go ahead. Commissioners, it was a table for uh, Chris Long, uh, Deputy County Administrator. It was tabled for one week last week. It may be um, uh, a cleaner process to bring it back from the table and table again for one week. Period of time, unless uh, the prosecutor thinks otherwise, and, and we can leave it on the table. So last week the resolution was tabled for one week. Yeah, correct. I, I think the the better course of action is to remove it from the table and retable it. And retable okay. it. Okay. If that's a desire of the board. Um, can I do that in one motion? No, I no. think it has to be two. two. All yes. right. Then I will uh, move to bring seven forty six fifteen back uh, from the table. Um, second. Move to second voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 746-15 has been removed from the table. Okay. I will uh, move to table for uh, one week again, 746-15. Um, is it prudent for us to table it for one week or should we table it for we can table an, it for two. An indefinite, or indefinite. Period of time? indefinite. Whatever the indefinite. desire of the board is, yeah. Well, let's I think it'd be good for Commissioner Brown to be here and she's going to be here, we hope, in another week so I'll move to to table indefinitely but then it can be brought back second move to second voting Commissioner Brooks aye Commissioner Grady aye. resolution number 746-15 has been tabled okay. resolution number 766-15 approving a contract with action for children for mandatory training classes and step up to quality technical assistance cohorts for type B family care providers in the amount of $280,281.34. Uh, commissioners, under this resolution, uh, the mandatory training classes that are for the home care providers include health and safety and family child care, management of communicable diseases, child abuse recognition and prevention, and child growth and development. And each uh, home provider is mandatory to take 18 hours of training per year. Uh, the second part of the resolution covers the step up to quality the technical assistance for the providers and by 2020 all the home providers will be required to at least be at the first star rating which improves the quality of care for the uh, children in their, that are in their care and this is the first step for them to do that and they're going to provide the technical assistance to bring them along the way and lance when you say we'll be required actually that's our requirement uh, we want them to have this uh, background and be able to work with our children to make them um, yeah but it's more professional setting and it's yes. in an educational environment and, and gets away from being just daycare exactly very important for our children to be uh, ready for school move for passage of resolution 766 15 second move to second and voting commissioner brooks aye commissioner grady aye resolution number 766 15 has been adopted Resolution number 767-15, approving a sub award agreement with the Club of Urban League for workforce services for a men's workplace suiting program in the amount of $25,000. Commissioner, this is a project that he started a couple years ago. It's called My Brother's Closet, and they provide interview suits and workplace attire uh, to gentlemen of low income that are seeking employment. Last year, they were able to assist 75 people. This year, they're hoping to provide these services to over 100 men. 
And these aren't these are gently used suits that people are donating. Um, Absolutely, the professional community has exactly. donated clothes. I've donated a suit. The director Travin, when he left, donated quite a few suits too. <laughs> that's, oh, that's great. That's good news. Yeah, great. Move for passage of resolution seven sixty seven fifteen. Second. That's Move right. to second the voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Grady. Aye. Resolution number seven sixty seven dash fifteen has been adopted. Resolution number 768-15, approving a subaward agreement with the United Way of Central Ohio for kindergarten readiness services in the amount of $350,000. Commissioners, this is for the Columbus Kid, Franklin County Kids program. It's a community-wide initiative that's designed to increase kindergarten readiness by screening for developmental delays, referring for services, and providing early learning resources to the families. Uh, the focus here is the Columbus City School and Southwestern City School Districts. Uh, since 2010, over 18,000 children have been screened, and the goal they have for this contract is to do at least 2,500 children. Pending any questions, I'd ask for the approval of this resolution. This is awesome. It's um, reaching so many children, and United Way's done a fantastic job uh, being partnered with us. I, it's just wonderful. I think so too. Thank you. Thanks for your strong work in that of the department. Move for passage of resolution 76815. Second. Move to second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 768 15 has been adopted. Resolution number 769 15, approving a sub award agreement with Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Central Ohio Incorporated for the youth mentoring program in the amount of $200,000. Commissioners, this contract is for the youth mentoring program. And this is where the youth who are struggling academically in need of adult guidance or just need a positive role model in their life. Uh, they're identified and matched with an adult volunteer who has been recruited and screened to be their mentor. At least two times a month, but quite a bit often, more, more times than that, the two meet in person to develop the relationship and take part in character development activities. They spend time discussing the importance of ac academic success and just overall being a positive influence in a child's life where there is none. Uh, approximately 280 youth will be able to participate in the program this year. Lance, if someone's watching out there and they would like to be a mentor, uh, who would they contact? They would contact Big Brothers Big Sisters. They could do that a couple of ways. Mm -hmm. Their website is www.bbbs.org mm -hmm. or they can call them at 839-2447. Great. What's that number again? 839-2447. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is such a great program. I recently met with them and also with the Tri-Village Mentoring League, and it really makes a difference. So just looking out at um, folks here that work for the county, um, I would hope we'd all perhaps step up and just do a little bit of mentoring. Move for passage of resolution 769-15. Second. Move to second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 769-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 770-15, approving a sub award agreement with the Homeless Families Foundation for kindergarten readiness services in the amount of $259,998.38. Commissioners, this is a kindergarten readiness program that's targeting the West Side families and families that are in homeless shelters. The program is a home visitation model where professionals, which they call parent partners, conduct monthly prescribed lessons with preschool age children and their parents. The lessons are based on Ohio's early learning content standards and are designed to educate parents on how to prepare children for kindergarten. They evaluate the children's skill level uh, and also enhance the parents abilities to be the child's first and most important teacher. This program utilizes the SPARC which is the supporting partnerships to assure a ready kids program. Uh, last year 172 children took place in this program and they're still working on the data here but they hope to increase that number this year. Depending any questions I'd ask for the approval of this resolution. Did you, uh, how many children did you say? 172. And they're hoping to increase it this year? Yeah, they, yeah. their guarantee is to at least be at that level but they're hoping to increase it. Let's hope. You know, it's amazing to me that there are literally children throughout our community that when they enter kindergarten do not know that you read a book left to right They've never held a book. They don't know their letters, their numbers, and their colors. That's why this program is so important. So thank you very much for what you do again and for bringing this to the commissioners. Move for passage of resolution 770-15. Second. 
Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Resolution number 770-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 771-15, approving a sub award agreement with the Columbus Urban League for workforce services for unemployed and underemployed ex-offenders in the amount of $245,000. Commissioners, through this program, the Columbus Urban League offers pathways to employment through focused training and job placement services. What makes this year's uh, contract unique is that they're partnering with Columbus State Community College and they will expand their occupational skill offerings to include certifications in the area of supply chain management. Now, this means they're going to be, the people will be certified for customer service, hospitality, food and beverage, and the allied health care networks. Uh, last year, they worked with 75 ex-offenders, 30 of which obtained employment, and this year they're looking forward to doing the same thing with 75 different people. Great. Pending any questions, I'd ask for the approval of this resolution. I see Michael Daniels in the back. I wonder, uh, I know Commissioner Brown has worked hard on this, as have you. Uh, sh would you like to say anything this morning? Okay. So I feel badly she's not here. She would really love this. Yes. Great. Move for passage of resolution 771-15. Second. Move to second in voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 771-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 772-15, approving a sub award amendment with action for children for services that promote and increase access to early learning programs, an increase of $59,618.20 in the amount of $255,295. Uh, commissioners, this is the second year for this program, and Action for Children is uh, charged with development of a comprehensive campaign that informs parents of the many uh, <coughs> available opportunities for them for early learning programs in Franklin <coughs> County. Bless you. They also are responsible for maintaining an updated database of all the learning programs and which ones have openings, sharing that with the parents, and also pre-screening for eligibility. Under this particular uh, amendment here, they're going to have one staff member that's on site permanently at Northland to provide information and referral services to the customers, and then one staff member that will share information and take referrals at community outreach events, events excuse me. Pending any questions, I'd ask for the approval of this resolution. Uh, this is, again, such important work, good work, um, helping our children be ready for school and helping their, really empowering their parents. Absolutely. That's very important. Move for passage of resolution 772-15. Second. Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 772-15 has been adopted. Well, thank you. Have one. Thank day. you very much, Lance. Uh, we are on to economic development and planning. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Resolution number 773-15, review of petition to annex 99.2 plus or minus acres from Blinden Township to the village of Minerva Park, case number annex dash EXP2 dash 29 dash 15. Good morning, commissioners. Matt Brown, planning administrator for the Economic Development and Planning Department. This resolution is considered an expedited type two annexation petition of 99.2 acres more or less from Blinden Township to the village of Minerva Park. The area to be annexed includes four parcels with parcel numbers 110-00006 110-000480, 110-000802, and 110-003122, located at 2955 Minerva Lake Road. The petition was filed by Aaron L. Underhill on behalf of the property owners, Marilyn A. Grossinger, Frank H. Grossinger, Jr., Frank H. Grossinger, Jr., trustee, and Minerva Lake Corporation. 50.8% of the site's perimeter is contiguous to the village of Minerva Park, and the village passed resolution number 2015-37 on September 28, 2015, indicating the services that will be provided once annexation is approved. The petition meets all statutory requirements outlined in section 709.021 of the Ohio Revised Code, and pending any questions, staff requests your approval of this resolution. Okay. Move for passage of resolution 773-15. Second. Move to second in voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 773-15 has been adopted. Resolution number 774-15, review a petition to annex 22 plus or minus acres from Prairie Township to the City of Columbus, case number annex EXP2-30-15. Commissioners, this is also an expedited type two annexation petition 
for 22.0 acres more or less from Prairie Township to the City of Columbus. The area to be annexed includes parcel number 240-006858 located on the east side of Hilliard and Rome Road East. The petition was filed by Jill Tangeman on behalf of the property owners, LJ KJ Rome Hilliard Limited Liability Company, Ruth Ann Hoffman, and Roy Lee Hoffman. 48% of the site's perimeter is contiguous to the City of Columbus and the City Passed Ordinance Number 2359-2015 on September 28, 2015, indicating the services that will be provided once annexation is approved. The petition meets all statutory requirements outlined in Section 709.021 of the Ohio Revised Code. Pending any questions, staff requests your approval of this petition. Move for passage of Resolution 774-15. Second. Moved and second voting. Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 774-15 has been adopted. Thank you, Commissioners. Thanks, Matt. Homeland Security and Justice Programs. Resolution number 775-15, authorizing receipt of an FY 2015 Justice and Mental Health Collaboration Program grant from the Bureau of Justice Assistance to support behavioral health treatment with Franklin County Jails. Good morning, Commissioners. <clears throat> Excuse me, Melissa Pearson on behalf of the Franklin County Office of Homeland Security and Justice. Commissioners, our office in collaboration with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, Columbus Police Department, and Adam H. of Franklin County applied for and received a Justice and Mental Health Collaboration Grant in the amount of $248,000. In concert with the Stepping Up Initiative, which uh, challenges counties across the nation to reduce the number of individuals in their local jail with a serious mental illness, and the findings from the uh, Council State Governments Initiative, this project will uh, provide uh, increased access to treatment and mental treatment for mental health and addiction services. For our program specifically, we're going to increase access for females held here locally who are assessed as medium to high risk, have multiple uh, stay stays within the jail within the past year, and have a co-occurring in or more mental health uh, diagnosis. Additionally, this resolution requests your approval of appropriations in the amount of $9,000, and that's so that we can go ahead and get started this calendar year on the project. Pending any questions, we respectfully request your approval of the appropriations request and authorization to accept this wonderful grant. You are right. It is a wonderful grant. I've uh, talked to uh, Sheriff Scott about this on numerous occasions, as well as uh, Chief Stobart. They're very thrilled that we're moving this forward. It's going to be a big help. Yes. for our entire community. It really is. Great. Move for passage of Resolution 775-15. Second. Move to second to voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 775-15 has been adopted. Thanks, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Uh, human resources. Resolution number 776-15, approving personnel actions. Good morning, Commissioners. Rob Young representing human resources. At the following personnel actions this week, Department of Animal Care and Control, one resignation, Child Support Enforcement Agency, one temporary work level ending, one leave of absence, and one resignation, and Department of Job and Family Services, one temporary work level, one leave of absence, one probationary extension, and one retirement. Pending any questions, I request approval of the resolution. Move for passage of Resolution 776-15. Second. Move to second voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 776-15 has been adopted. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ron. Purchasing Department. Resolution number 777-15, approving purchases for various Franklin County agencies in the amount of $1,260,098.95. Commissioners, good morning. Chris Johnston representing the Franklin County Purchasing Department. Resolution before you request your approval of 99 purchase orders. Purchase orders have been pre-certified as to the availability of funds by the Franklin County Auditor and all purchase orders are of normal nature and routine business. Pending any questions, we recommend their approval. Move for passage of Resolution 777-15. Second. Move to second voting. Commissioner Brooks? Aye. Commissioner O'Grady? Aye. Resolution number 777-15 has been adopted. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Board of Commissioners. Resolution number 778-15, authorizing agreement with Jacqueline Moore & Associates Incorporated to assist with the request for proposal for medical service in the correctional facilities in the amount not to exceed $5,000. Good morning, Commissioners. Chris Long, Deputy County Administrator. The Purchasing Department issued an RFP on behalf of the Sheriff's Office for complete health services in an electronic medical records 
system for the correctional facilities. This is a significant program for the Sheriff's Office and an important component as we look forward to uh, not only the existing operation of the correctional facilities, but the new uh, facility as well. Given the importance and scope of the RFP, it will be valuable to the county to have an experienced consultant to assist not only in reviewing the scope, but also assisting the evaluation team as the submissions come in. Therefore, this resolution will authorize an agreement with Jacqueline Moore to assist the county in this endeavor. This will be uh, very interesting. We've gone back and forth, and this is such a challenge for jails throughout our nation. Uh, so it'll be good it to have this expertise. Absolutely. Move for passage of resolution 778-15. Second. Move to second voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 778-15 has been adopted. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you. Resolution number 779-15, appointing Terrence Williams to the Columbus Regional Airport Authority Board of Trustees. Amended. Good morning, Commissioners. Eric Janus, Deputy Administrator. Um, back on September 8th, you passed Resolution 690-15, appointing Mr. Williams to the Columbus Regional Airport Authority Board of Trustees. Um, there was an error on the appointment date in that resolution. This corrects the error to accurately reflect the term of the appointment. Pending any questions, would recommend approval. Move for passage of Resolution 779-15. Um, he's a fantastic um, board yep, member. I heard nothing but great things, yep. Second. Moved and second in voting, Commissioner Brooks. Aye. Commissioner O'Grady. Aye. Resolution number 779-15 has been adopted. Thank you, Commissioners. Thank you. Do we have any uh, journalizations today? No. Okay. Being that we have none, that concludes the Board of Commissioners meeting. See everybody next week.